I'm going to show you how to measure blood pressure now. Normally you do this with a stethoscope, listening at the elbow where the brachial artery passes so you can hear it. But we're not going to do that today. Instead, we're going to use one of these. Now this is a Doppler ultrasound probe, which is another way of listening to blood vessels. But this makes a noise every time you hear a pulse. And that means that you and Sophie, who's going to be our patient today, can hear what I'm doing at the same time. So the first thing I need, Sophie, is just your wrist, please. So we're going to listen at the radial artery at the wrist, which you might be used to measuring your pulse normally. First thing we need to do is put a little bit of ultrasound gel on. Now this ultrasound works in exactly the same way as baby scans, which you might be familiar with. So again there, in a pregnant abdomen, you'd, you'd put some ultrasound gel on, but use a slightly larger probe. This one looks a lot like a pen, and that's because it's made for picking up the blood vessels um, throughout the body. So I turn it on. You should be able to hear the pulse of blood as it goes through the artery in Sophie's wrist. So that's normal and what it should sound like. That's a regular pulse. Okay, so now on to blood pressure. And we'll come back to the ultrasound probe later. To measure blood pressure, we use one of these, which is a, a blood pressure cuff. Now that attaches to the arm here. So I'm just going to ask you to roll up your sleeve, Sophie, if that's okay. And you put it on and wrap it round the yeah. arm. Now when you measure blood pressure, you're interested in two numbers. What's called a systolic blood pressure, which is usually a higher number, and a diastolic blood pressure, which is a lower number. And that's because you do have two blood pressures. When your heart pumps blood, it squeezes and then relaxes. As it squeezes, that really increases the blood pressure, and that's where the higher number comes from, the systolic blood pressure. When it relaxes, your blood pressure falls, and that's the diastolic blood pressure. So we measure it with what's called a sphygmomanometer, which is the, the setup here that we've got. And this is quite a large sphygmomanometer, so you should be able to see the dial going up. This is a little valve that I use to squeeze to inflate air into the cuff, and I can twist this to adjust the pressure in the cuff. What we need to do first is inflate the cuff to a pressure that stops all the flow to Sophie's arm. So I'm going to inflate the cuff until it's really tight and it's going to be cutting off the blood supply to her hand. So I left, if I left it on for long enough, her hand wouldn't be getting any blood. So we don't leave it on for that long. Once you've inflated it to a high pressure and all the blood's stopped, you then let it out bit by bit until the blood starts flowing back. The moment that you hear the blood flowing back is what's called the systolic blood pressure. And you should be able to hear that um, using the Doppler probe. So I'm going to ask you, Sophie, just to put the Doppler probe over your radial artery. We need three hands when we're doing this. Okay, so we'll just get a good sound from that. It's a really nice strong pulse sound. So now I'm going to inflate the cuff until this dial goes up to about 160. And we can hear that there's no more pulse in her arm. All the blood supply has been cut off by inflating air into this cuff. It's much tighter. You can see that the probe's in the same place. I'm now going to let air slowly out of the cuff so that it releases the pressure and the blood can flow back. And when we start hearing the noises again, that's her systolic blood pressure. There we go. And that happened at just under 120, at about 116. We can carry on letting air out the cuff. And you can hear that her pulse has now completely returned. I take the cuff off. Because it can be quite uncomfortable if you leave it on for a long period of time. And we'll just shut off the Doppler probe. That's great. Thanks very much, Sophie.